Hi, I'm Carl. Hi, I'm Dan. Hey, I'm Joe. And this is Communication <laughs> Privacy Management Theory. Communication Privacy Management Theory is a communication theory first developed by Sandra Petronio in 1991, describing the ways in which relational actors manage their privacy boundaries and the disclosure of private information. The theory focuses heavily on the processes that people employ to determine when and how they choose to conceal or reveal private information. Through this theory, Petronio describes the ever-present dialectic of privacy and openness within various relationship models, explains how relationships develop as public and private boundaries are negotiated and coordinated, and demonstrates how individuals regulate revealing and concealing information through communication. The first principle of the CPM theory states that people believe that they have a right to own and control their private information. Hey Colin. Hey, what's going on man? How was your weekend buddy? Uh, it was alright, what about you? It was alright? It, was, it wasn't bad. Hey, by the way, did you end up getting with that girl? Uh, I don't really, I don't like to talk about it. When Yo, I... come on man, you gotta tell me. I don't, I don't just, I don't tell people. Dude, I saw her stuff. flirt with you hard dude, she wanted it. She's a nice girl, but I just, I don't talk about it. I have respect. Did you get with her? I have respect for women. All right, I'm not gonna talk uh, about so it. You, you won't, you don't want to disclose that piece of information. I would prefer to keep that information private. Dude, stop being such a bitch. Colin didn't want to share that piece of information with me because of his boundaries. He he believes in privacy. The second principle in this theory is that people control their info through personal privacy rules. Yo, what up, Dan? Yeah, what up, Joe? What's up? How's it going, bro? Good. How was your weekend? Good, y'all. I had a nice weekend. Oh, uh, did you? Yeah, it's crazy. Yo, you got mad girls? I got four. No, yeah, in one night? Yeah. Dude, that's it ridiculous. Nice. I know. Yo, what? dude, he's telling me everything. I, you, you went down with a girl this weekend? I just don't. Like to talk about Come on, it. Just, I'm I'm with four girls this weekend. That's awesome. I no, just, we're college two, girls, two man. Of them, two of them are ugly. I know, too. but it's, it's just okay. it's just not like my thing to I talk mean, about it. Know about that. Like, I mean, if he wants to talk about it, that's fine. But I just I don't. I, I mean, you can. Say I don't kiss you, and tell. You can say I mean, like. I guess I have to respect your privacy rules. Thank you. That's all I'm asking for. This scene showed that Colin and Dan have very different personal privacy rules. While Dan remained open about what he did this weekend, Colin wanted to remain silent, and Joe continued to act like a dick. The third principle, when people are given information, they become co-owners of that information. Wow. I can't believe Dan disclosed all that information about his weekend. He told me that he hooked up with four girls in one night, and he even said that two of them were ugly. That's crazy, man. And I can't believe that Kyle was still being a pussy and not telling me about his weekend. That's ridiculous. When Dan told me information about his weekend, by disclosing it, he made me a co-owner of that information. When I was talking about it and Chris heard me behind me, he became an unintended co-owner. Because of this, there could be a potential problem. The fourth principle states that co-owners of information have to negotiate agreeable privacy rules about who they tell. Come on, Chris. Yo, yo. I, I didn't mean to say that out loud. Like, I didn't, I didn't want anyone to hear. You can't be going to tell people about it. Dude, he was freaking bragging about it. Are you kidding me? Yo, I know you're friends with those girls, but uh, I don't want anyone to know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with Dan. Like, dude, I, I can't, I can't be, I can't have people know about it. All right, that. I, all right, I got you. Come on, yo. I got you. Seriously. But seriously, you shouldn't you gotta be doing that. You really shouldn't be doing that, but I got your back.
By ensuring that Chris wouldn't tell anyone about Dan's weekend, we successfully established privacy rules. The fifth principle, when call owners of private information don't negotiate, boundary turbulence is likely. Yo, nice job, womanizer. What did you say? I heard what you did this weekend. What are you talking about? I heard the story with the girls. Come on. What are you saying? Why are you bragging about that? About what? You know, you said you got with girls this weekend. You're going bragging about it? When did I say that? You told it to Joe. When? I don't know, like the other day. You told me. No, I, that never happened. I never it told did. That. It happened. I didn't look up any girls this weekend. Are you sure? That's what Joe said. Maybe he's lying. I don't think so. Why would he say that to you if it's not true? I don't know. It's just Joe's word. Where's Joe? Maybe we can talk to him about it. Maybe. I don't know where he is, though. Hmm. Yo, what up? Yo, what'd you tell Chris? Dude, what are you talking about? Chris just came up to me in the hallway and said something to me about the, the girls I hooked up with. Dude, I've been studying for communications for like three hours. What are you talking about? I don't know. He came up to me. I don't even know this kid that much. He came up to me and started talking to me about being a womanizer. Dude, I didn't tell I, I didn't tell him anything. He's saying you told him, and I'm the, you're the only one who I told him. And Colin knows too, but he didn't say anything. Dude, like... No, like, tell me. Did you say anything or no? You're lying. Yeah, yeah, I told him. Dude, I, I'm sorry. Like, Why'd you tell I, him? I, I, I didn't mean to tell him. I you was told just, him I was bragging about it? I didn't tell him. Dude, I was just saying it, and then he just happened to hear me. Yo. I didn't... You, now he thinks I'm bragging about hooking up with those girls. I never told him that, but like... No, it's, I'm sorry, it's stupid. Alright? Like, we're done. Like, seriously, like, don't even talk to me. Dude, no. Dan. Seriously, like, don't even talk to me. I'm not even kidding. Joe, that idiot, gave out all my private information. Now no girls at Maris is gonna like me. How am I gonna work my game now? Hey Joe, what's up? Don't you ever disobey CPM theory. Me and Dan had mutually agreeable privacy rules and you disobeyed them. Dude, you ruined our friendship. I liked him I'm sorry. so much. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry.